Hey guys, I'm going to show you how I put together my earrings. So I'm going to use a felt tip marker, just some cardboard, some E6000 glue, scissors, and some scrap leather. So what I've done is I've cut out my earrings, I've traced the piece onto the scrap leather, and I've also made a smaller piece of cardboard to fit inside. This is just to make it a little bit more stronger um, when the person's wearing it and also when I'm putting the beads on. So what I do is I take my E6000 glue and I'm just going to put it on both sides of the cardboard and then I'm going to make sure I put the lid on before I do anything else because it kind of makes a mess so I push that glue around make it nice and secure making sure all of my edges line up and I'll continue this for all of my pieces So for my salmon eggs, I mark them with numbers 1 and 2 because sometimes my pieces can get mixed up and I also mark where the top is on both the painted section and the back of the leather just so that everything lines up exactly how it should and I'm not really guessing where the piece should line up. And to clean up the little glue mess that I made, I just take a piece of the scrap cardboard, scrape it up, and then I will wipe, wipe it around and that'll oftentimes get all of the residue off. So to clean off my glue tip, I just scrape off the dry bits here and then I'll take a piece of hide or fabric and I'll wipe off whatever's remaining. So I have d Nymo thread, some scissors, some wax. I use leather needles made to puncture through the leather and the hide because it's very sharp. I also have a beading mat or a piece of felt will work made myself a leather thimble for my middle finger. So I'm going to cut a piece of my thread here, just long enough for my one side of my butterfly earrings. I'm going to run this through the wax about two or three times. This will help to condition the thread and also if that I do get a knot, it's super easy to undo it. So I'm going to thread my needle and I'm going to pour out some of my beads. These are size 8 seed beads. So when I'm beading the edge of my earrings, I like to start on the flattest part of the earring. So it makes it super easy to finish. So this is about the flattest part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle, insert it through the back piece of the leather and up through the hide. This is creating our anchor. And I like to leave about a needle and a half length worth of thread at the end. So I'm going to measure a needle and a half or so. And pinch and I'm going to grab a bead and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my needle just beside there up both, through both pieces of leather and I'm going to pull all the way until it's secure and then I'm going to come up through that same bead again and pulling secure so now my beads laying flat on that edge I'll pick up another bead of the same size push it down a bit insert my needle Pull all the way till secure, come back through that same bead and pull it nice and secure. So with practice, I found that inserting your needle around the same section where the middle of the bead will sit will give me a good lineup for every bead. So here I am securing it, picking up another bead of the same size and insert it. Pull all the way through, put my needle back through that bead, and then pull. I don't want to pull too tight, just enough to secure it in place.
So here I've almost completed the beaded edge all the way around my butterfly wing. So now when I'm doing the beaded edge, when I'm adding the very last bead, I take out the string that I anchored in the back. I just use my needle and I pull it so that it's now sticking out through the top of the bead. And I have room for one more perfect size bead. So I'll find the right size, slide it down a bit, put my needle through both pieces of leather, pull. And I'll put my needle back through that same bead and secure. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the string from my anchor so I don't get tangled. And I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to insert my needle into the very first bead that we did. So raising through the very first bead, pulling it through. Okay, nice and secure. And then I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go right through the same section that I did with my very first tack down. I'm just going to pull it through, nice and secure, not too tight, and then I'm going to take my needle off of the thread, and I'm going to thread my needle onto my anchor piece like so. So here's why I like to have it a needle's length and just over a half and I'm going to move my needle and I'm going to put it through the last bead that we added to our beaded edge. Pull it through and then I'm going to put my needle right in the same needle hole as that and pull it through and I'm going to take my needle off. We don't need that anymore. Take off my leather thimble, move some things out of the way. And then I like to tie four knots, uh, very simple knots over and through. And after I'm done tying my four knots, not too tight, we don't want it to be all bunched up. After I'm done tying my four knots, I will snip the ends of the thread, not too close to the knot, but just far enough that I can melt each side down with the lighter to secure them in place and so that they won't come undone. So there's one side complete. Now I'm going to start my other side. I always like to check and make sure that um, there's no overlapping pieces or that one side's bigger than the other. So I'll just give it a trim if I need and again taking out the same amount of thread that I need to go all the way around my beaded piece, running it through the wax, thread my needle, and then I'll begin the same process all over again. I like to start on the flattest part of my project, through the back, pulling it through, and leaving a needle and about a half worth for my anchor, like so grabbing bead and then putting it through, bring it back up through that bead and continuing on that process. So now I'm taking my bent needle nose pliers and I'm going to use these loops today so they have a lever back. This is the front and the back here. And if you've got a little slit, you just bend it open a little bit like so. And then I loop this part through right onto the thread of my beaded edge, making sure that the hook is on the front and the, the lever backing is on the back. Same thing, just open it a bit, add it onto the thread from my beaded edge and closing it again. So here's my butterfly winged earrings. Thanks for watching.